antique stores, I've been checking out the quilts to make a coat for one. They're usually pretty expensive and fancy, anywhere from $100 to $250. Then my sister found one for $5 in an estate sale. She got it for me and I made my very own quilt coat. Look how great. Now before you worry that I ruined a family heirloom, this quilt was in rough shape. Lots of rips and holes. It was also mass produced for a department store. This made me feel better about cutting into it. So I bought a vintage pattern on Etsy. I link all my supplies in the blog post in the description. I got to work cutting out the pattern. It's really easy to do. Just cut on the outside line or on the line with the size you want if it's for multiple sizes. I pinned the pattern pieces to the quilt and cut each part out, making sure to line up the pattern on a pretty spot of the blanket and avoiding the worst damage. Really think about how you want the coat to look and cut it out so the fronts and pockets can be symmetrical. Then I started sewing it together with a pocket first. I watched a bunch of YouTube tutorials to learn how to do the bias tape correctly. I decided to make the coat reversible, which made it much more tricky. Followed the pattern's instructions and sewed the shoulders. I added bias tape to the seam so it can be reversible. Then I sewed the collar to the body of the quilt. You can see how I stitched in the bias tape so it lays flat. Next, I sewed the side to the back of the quilt. This was exciting because I actually had a garment at this point I could try on. Luckily, it fits perfectly. The pockets were a little boring, so I ironed on a little bird patch. This is a great way to customize the jacket and make it more granny chic. I wanted to show you the instructions that come with the pattern. These are super easy to follow and we'll say the exact order to sew everything in. I sewed the arm seat closed and then stitched the sleeve in the armholes. Then I added binding to all the edges of the coat, bottom, front, and collar for a pretty finishing touch. Last, I hand sewed on the snap so I can close the jacket if I want to. And here's how it turned out. Isn't it cute? I love how comfy it is. Plus, it's so fun that it's an upcycled quilt. Here's the pattern side. I styled it a few different ways with a maxi dress, jeans and a peplum, and with a short dress too, though I'll probably just wear it with leggings. Which way do you like better, plain or patterned? I sure love how it turned out and I'm so excited to wear it this winter.